In mid-October 2022, we saw this incredible JWST image of the Pillars of Creation, a beautiful nebula 6,500 light years from Earth that makes up part of the Eagle Nebula. Now, to celebrate Halloween 2022, we've seen a brand new view of the nebula that makes it look like a positively spooky landscape. Desolate, not the sort of place you'd want to walk alone, but still, somehow, stunning. The difference between the images is that the first one is taken in near-infrared light, which is just a little bit longer of a wavelength than the visible light that we can see with our own eyes, while this newer one is taken in the even longer mid-infrared light. It was taken by the MIRI instrument on JWST, and really highlights the dusty nature of the pillars and all of the enshrouded stars hidden within. There are thousands of these stars in the pillars, and we can see many of them in the near-infrared image. But in the mid-infrared, these stars seem to retreat back into the dust. These wavelengths of light excel at highlighting where that dust is, and stars are fainter in mid-infrared light than they are in near-infrared light, so they're much harder to see in this MIRI image. In general, stars, even the young ones being born in this nebula, are fainter and fainter as you go to longer wavelengths of light. The ghostly hand of this image takes on darker colours than the near-infrared counterpart, and rather than seeing the thousands of stars that we know are present, we get the looming and imposing pillars of gas and dust, towering in the distance. In this image, we're seeing the stars that are still surrounded by a lot of that dust, because the dust can emit wavelengths of light that Miri is sensitive to. But the stars that have thrown away their dusty cloaks are no longer easily visible in the mid-infrared light. The reddest orbs we can see are the dusty stars, and the bluer stars we can see are the older ones that have blown away all of the dust that surrounded them as they formed. In the background, we see the thick dust that surrounds the pillars. The densest areas are the grey ones, while the red regions near the top are cooler and more diffuse. Notice there are no background galaxies visible here like we normally get in JWST images, because the dust is so thick that none of the background light can make it through. If you're looking at the NERCAM image in near-infrared light and thinking, I'd like to know more about that and the pillars in general, then I have a video going into all of those details that I'll link in the description and in the top right corner now. So please check that out if you're interested. I'll leave you with this awesome transition that shows how our view of the nebula keeps changing. Starting with the 2015 Hubble image, we go to the NERCAM JWST image and eventually end with the newer MIRI image, which is the highest resolution mid-infrared view we've ever had of the pillars. Each new observation teaches us more about the nebula and how stars form in general. Enjoy the view and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.